doing well. Welcome to Lois's Kitchen where we make mouth-watering delicacies with you in mind. Now, thank you so much for joining us, for our returning subscribers. We really, really appreciate you. We thank you for your support. For the new subscribers to welcome to this channel and for our new watchers, we believe that before the end of this episode, you're going to be clicking the subscribe button below here. Today we are going to be making a meal known as Vegetable Manchurian. This is a vegetarian meal and um, it's something I would encourage you guys to make over the Easter holidays. It doesn't matter what you have, any vegetables you make as long as you're able to combine them together will work well and I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'll introduce you guys to the ingredients for this. For our first ingredients, we'll need a piece of cabbage, we'll need some carrots, we'll also need some ginger, we'll need some garlic powder, we'll need some salt, and we'll need some all-purpose flour and some corn flour or cornstarch. Now for the vegetables, as I mentioned to you guys when we started, you can also use French beans, you can use onions also any vegetable as long as you cut them really small and you're able to bind them you can use whatever is available to you after that then the cooking in the cooking process we'll need these other ingredients and we'll use some white vinegar we'll use some ketchup and you can use if you don't have ketchup you can use sugar so either of the two, it's just to balance out in the acidity content. Then we we'll use some turmeric. And then I have three kinds of capsicums. There's a green one, red one, yellow one. Please use whatever is available to you. I had this available to me, but the green one is sufficient. Then I have a white onion. You can use the purple one or spring onions, whatever is available to you. I have a grated uh, ginger here and two cloves of garlic then I have some coriander and I have some soy sauce
become so dense. So when you add one tablespoon of oil pasta, you do the same for the cornstarch. The vegetables have some water. Remember, you just chop them. They were fresh. So, you don't need to add them liquid. And you're looking for a consistency where, um, like, you put some water and then it falls off sideways. So, guys, the consistency you're looking for is where you're able to form a ball, but it's falling off slowly. This is the consistency we're looking for, guys. There is little liquid in the vegetables and when you try to form a ball, you're able to form it, yet not so densely because you don't use a lot of flour. The corn flour and the all-purpose flour will hold it together. You see, I'm able to form a ball shape. But it still has some liquid. This is what I want. The shapes that you form is dependent on your preference. So now I'll form into ball size shapes. So I'm going to make this whole bowl into these sizes and place them here like that until I'm done with the whole bowl. We finished preparing our Manchurian vegetable balls and this is what they look like. Our fire is on high but at this point I'm going to reduce to low medium because we want to cook it from the inside out and we don't want them to burn on the outside before they are well cooked. So this is how they look and I'm going to put them now in the fire. Don't overcrowd the vegetable bowl. turning brown some are golden so I'll cook until they are well brown but not dark these are vegetables so cooking them will be really really fast then remember this is just a fast process of cooking we're going to also be frying them golden color what you want is a brown color remember the fire is on low medium
a tablespoon of oil then our garlic remember garlic can be quite overpowering so it depends with if you like it a lot of the flavor you can put as much as you need and then i'm going to put my grated ginger At this point, you need to check if all your flavorings are okay. So at this point, I'll add half this cup of water. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to create a sauce. And then I'm going to add the cornstarch in so that it can be slightly thicker. You can add um, hot water if you have some. I'll add some soy sauce because I want it slightly browner remember you can use light soy sauce I like this color and at this point I'll use this cornstarch make a slurry by making a slurry I mean you add some water to it so that you're able to add it to the food or to your sauce because when you add it, when it's in powder form, it becomes lumpy. So I'm making a slurry. I've added some water. If you don't have cornstarch, just use less water for the sauce. But the cornstarch makes the sauce silky. So this is the portion I have made. Now our sauce is boiling so at this point I'll add the cornstarch slurry little by little and then I stir. See it can it has already started to be thick. This is what I wanted and it actually looks silky. I don't know if you guys can see. It's silky. This is what we want. At this point, test to see if the flavors are well combined I've realized I need some salt so I'm going to add that this much the vegetables have cooked to the consistency I like them so at this point we'll add our Manchurian vegetable bowl in look they are not puffed up once you put them in the sauce they will puff up a bit stir in well
give them a minute just to absorb the juices look at the balls they're actually puffing up a bit look look guys look this just looks really nice this just needs a minute and at this point i'll just put in some coriander stir this up put the fire off and it's ready for serving our vegetable manchurian guys is ready and as you've seen it was a very very simple process you can make with your kids and it will be a i mean it's a way to incorporate uh, vegetables into your meals and it looks like meat balls doesn't it guys it looks really yummy and um another thing is uh once you make the manchurian balls you can serve them as dry as they are if you have another sauce on the side or you can choose to make the sauce as we have you can also choose to freeze the manchurian bolt without the sauce and then when you're ready you can make the sauce so that's just one of the way in which you can have them with you for longer and um look at them it's 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 really an appetizing meal and i'm going to taste with you guys and as usual it's more watering Please guys, make this recipe and write down in the comment section and let me know how your results will turn out. Remember you can always let me know in the comment section uh, if you have any questions, if you have any recommendations, if you have any recipes you also want me to try, you can write down in the comment section. Otherwise, it's been as usual amazing hosting you guys if you're a new watcher remember to click the subscribe button at the bottom otherwise do have a nice day it's bye bye from us bye